Yo, what is going on guys? JNM Studios Gaming here. I am Michael. Uh, long time no see. I apologize for not uploading for four months. Uh, pretty much. I had school and then football. Add on looking for a job. Add on not having Wi-Fi for a while. Still not having Wi-Fi right now. As of this recording. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, I do admit at some points, I, probably for like a month or so, I just didn't upload when I could have. So I apologize. But this whole coronavirus shit going on, uh, I got the whole rest of the school year off. I still have online school, but I don't have to get up for school physically until August. So, that's pretty fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> so anyways, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, this is going to be another story time video. Uh, this is going to be a video of, like, Halloween night. And it's not scary, but it's it's kind of creepy. Obviously, in the moment, it was creepy. Now it's... Now it is still a little creepy now, but it is less creepy now that I'm older. So this happened in 6th grade. And... I was trick-or-treating with my friend named C. Not gonna say his full name. C is just his first initial. Just for privacy reasons. I'm sure he wouldn't care if I said his name, but I don't, I'm don't. i kinda too lazy to text him right now. <laughs> and this was in sixth grade. I don't know if I already said that. But this is my, actually my first year trick-or-treating without my mom. So that was already kind of like weird in a way i was scared but also i was like all right first step into adulthood let's go so we were trick-or-treating i would say for about a solid th three maybe four hours and it's kind of it's that well it's actually kind of cool uh stop the story for a minute or so my sisters older sisters are actually friends with his older sister that are in my sister's grade and i'm friends with him and he's in my grade so that was cool anyways continue continuing on with the story we were trick-or-treating for about three hours four hours ish and i would say it was 9 30 to 10 his mom actually texted him asking him to come home which was cool because we were just about to go home after like two more houses and it got pretty late so like i remember this guy giving us the whole rest of the bowl and that was that's how you know and anyways here's where like the creepy part comes in so we were walking back to his house and this white truck pulls up like on the sidewalk they pull up they get out of the they get out of the car and they said something like there they are get get them and they had like a knife out no cat he pulled out a knife and one of them was like there they are get him we dipped like that faster than the snap of my, than the snap of my fingers we were sprinting back to his house. Luckily, they didn't follow us. Uh, they were drunk. Foreshadowing to the, like, morning story, foreshadow. Yeah, they were drunk. It's pretty obvious they were kind of like to slur their voice. I, I don't even know if they said those exact words, because one, it was so long ago in sixth grade, and two, they were drunk, so we couldn't really understand them. So anyways, we got back to his house, locked the door, obviously, went back to his mom, and she was like, damn, pretty much, just be safe next time or something. And that was it. I wouldn't be making this story if that was the end of, if that was the, end of the story, you know? So, Yet our child. sisters are still trick-or-treating at this time. Like... Isn't they're two years older than us, so they're still trick or treating. His mom just wanted us back because we were younger, so we were gonna go pick them up. Another, I would say, like another hour or so goes by. We were in his room playing Madden or playing some other game. I can't even remember. And 
his mom was like, okay, let's go, let's go pick up the other three, and we were like, okay, we go pick up the other three, right? As we are driving back to their house, on his street, I kid you not, was the exact same guy with the knife. Just drunk walking on his street. Which was very, very creepy. Considering that we were both 6th grade. Trick or treating, some guy pulls out of the car and was like, through the yard, get him, with the knife in his hand. Then, we're back in his neighborhood, going back to his house after like an hour or so and there goes the same exact guy walking on his street we were like holy shit that's the same guy which is very scary because one he's drunk and two he had a knife in his hand so basically we stayed in their car because obviously we didn't want to get the fuck out Plus, their, their garage was full. They didn't park their cars in the garage in case they were like, just go in the garage. So, we that wasn't an option. So, we didn't want to get out and possibly die. We didn't have any weapons on us or anything. So, we just stood there. Uh, his mom called the cops. So, we basically waited there for the cops to come. And when the cops did come back, eventually, it, it took... I would say it took like a solid 15-20 minutes for the cops to be there. Don't ask me why, because I'm pretty sure the cops are knowing the cops. They're supposed to be on their way as fast as they can. No, they were just like taking taking their fucking time. It's like, no, it's not Halloween night, night and there's a drunk guy with a knife in a neighborhood or anything. You know, yeah, take your fucking time. Anyways, <laughs> the cops came. He got arrested. Uh, basically, my mom was like, nah, they ain't spending the night anymore. <laughs> Even though he did get arrested, there was other guys, and my mom didn't want my sisters and I spending the night at their house, because that was the plan that we were going to spend the night at their house. Obviously, they understood. Completely understandable why my mom would do that. So, that's, well, that is the end of the story. It's just a creepy Halloween story. Obviously, it's on Halloween, so that kind of adds on to, like, the spookiness a bit, so, yeah, that's the story, um, I honestly, this might be the end of the story time series, because I cannot think of anything else. If you guys can think of anything else, please, I beg of you, comment down in the comment section any ideas for a story time, because I'm kind of liking the series, and I can't think of anything else. Literally cannot think of anything else. I mean, anything that would be interesting and that you guys would want to see. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, comment down in the comments. That'd be dope. Also, subscribe. Five subs away from one hundo. That would be pretty dope if we got to one hundo by April 24th. April 24th, a month before my birthday. Let's get to one hundo. We can do it. I'm going to try and upload as much as I can. I promise. I promise. I know I've said that in the past, but this time I actually do promise. So, anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this Skyrim footage. I've been getting way into Skyrim lately. Uh, <laughs> I know I did play Skyrim. If you guys want Skyrim to come back, I will make more Skyrim videos. But I deleted the character that I made the videos on, so I'd have to start over from the story in case you guys would want to see the full story. So, that's fine. That's fine if you guys want me to start over and see more Skyrim. I definitely will. There's without a doubt I would do that. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to keep God, numero uno, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.